back in your book, you talk about uh, five-step prayer. Uh, actually, David used the prayer. Can you talk about that? Yeah, you know, you know, in Psalms 32, there's, there's, uh, that's a great psalm because David actually used, I used to teach, he used three uh, different uh, uh, things to describe sin. Because we all think just sin, sin. Well, no, he talks about, he talks about sin, uh, transgression, and this is the one I didn't know before, deceit and iniquity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sin, and this is, this is what, sin is us, uh, is us sinning against the holiness of God. Mm. Wow. Okay, in other words, God's holy, and it's whenever I do something that violates his holiness. Transgression is a sin against the authority of God because it means to step across a line. And in the scripture, that particular uh, infraction seems to carry a, heavy, a heavier judgment. Mm -hmm. That when people sinned against God's authority, delegated authority, whatever, but those are two different kinds of sins. One against the holiness, one against the authority. Deceit is a sin against somebody else when you search the word out. It means I hurt somebody else. Hmm. I, I, I did something that, that, that worked against them, that violated them. And then iniquity is the sin that's in the bloodline. Wow. So, so those are the four things that, that, that the enemy will use in the court of heaven. So it's really good habit just to walk through those on a regular basis mm -hmm. and just say, Lord, I repent for any sin against your holiness. Yes. Wow. I repent for any mm -hmm. sin against your authority, mm -hmm. any place I've, I've rebelled repent. against you. Mm -hmm. I repent against any sin against somebody else. Mm -hmm. And if I need to bring restitution to, to that person or whatever, I'll do it. But also repent for any sin that's in, that's, that's, that's in the bloodline. <clears throat> and so once you deal with that and you say, Lord, now let the blood speak, well, what happens is the it, the devil loses his case against you. Right. It's just it's just lost. And so those are four distinct sins uh, that that um, that we can take into the courts and mm -hmm. undo the cases of the devil against us. And then, of course, out of that, uh, as I said earlier, in Psalms thirty two, David actually spoke of of repentance that the ungodly or the godly rather are the ones that repent. See, we think we think. We think that it's, it's the ungodly that need to repent. No, see, our life should be a life of repentance. It should yeah. be. I just should live a life of repentance. Nonstop. Jim not, not because I think I'm a bad person. No, no, no. That's, Jim's always taught us. I mean, from the time I met Jim 24 years ago, he always said, Lori, keep short accounts with God. That's right. Just keep them short. Just, you know, something's going on in your heart. Just keep it short. Constantly. That's, that's right. And what you're saying. Deal with it is, and go on. Yeah. <laughs> and it's is that if that's what you're saying and, and see we've always known that if you add the court of heaven perspective into it well you realize that forgiveness is actually a legal issue it's where that whatever you've done no long that you're forgiven it no longer has a legal right to demand something from you that's what forgiveness is mm -hmm. that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hold that against you anymore and so if you realize yeah. that yeah, then, I, then i'm realizing beautiful. okay when i yeah. do these things now i can ask for a court decision to be rendered in my behalf mm -hmm. that actually frees me and i promise you if you'll do that all the condemnation and guilt that you carry mm -hmm. will just evaporate it'll just vanish yeah